Hello everyone, this is a follow up to my recent video on the Amelia Earhart case. A lot of you guys seem to be interested in the case, and so am I, so I decided to make another one. As always, I'm just trying to present you with the ideas and theories I find online, I'm not trying to sway you to one particular theory, I want you guys to form your own opinion. So with that being said, let's get into the video. The island of Nikamaruro is an area of constant fascination and is located in the western Pacific Ocean, and is thought to be potentially one of the places that Amelia Earhart could have crash landed in 1937. A company called the International Group for Historic Aircraft Recovery, Tiger, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm going to go with it, has made numerous attempts to search the island of Nikamaruro for clues. In 1991, Tiger found what, at the time, was thought to be a piece of a shoe belonging to Amelia Earhart. It was a black, rubber, fairly worn chew hill, and stamped into the rubber are the words Cat's Paw Rubber Company, USA. On one hand, the shoe was the same kind that she was photographed wearing just days before her final flight, and it was manufactured in the 1930s, which fits the criteria. However, the shoe heel and sole would fit around a size 9, which would have been too large for Amelia to have worn. Also, it's been claimed that the shoe would have been too small to fit Fred Noonan, who would have been around a size 11. Supposedly, in 1997, Tiger member Peter Macquarie was doing research in the Kiribati National Archives on Tarawa for a World War II history book, Conflict in Kiribati, and found a file that was named Skeleton Human, Finding of on Gardner Island and inside were 1940s copies of wireless traffic between Gerald Gallagher, who was a British colonial officer and licensed pilot, talking about Nikimororo with his superiors, about some pieces of human skeleton found in the vicinity of the southeast area of the island. The bones were found with a female shoe and a sexton box, and a Benedictine bottle and the remains of a fire with bird and turtle bones. The sextant box had two numbers on it, 3500 stenciled and 1542. I can go into more detail about this sextant box in another video if you guys would like. Gallagher thought that these could be the remains of Earhart. No one knows to this day where the sextant box is, and was last reported to have been seen in Fiji in 1941. Several days post crash, there were numerous reports of people hearing distress calls, one of note mentioned there being rising water. A week after the disappearance of Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan, the distress calls had come to a stop, potentially meaning that due to rising tides, the Electra had gone over the edge of the reef. Three months after the incident, a British expedition in 1937 took a photo in black and white, which appears to show an object on the edge of the reef in the general location where Amelia Earhart is thought to have crash landed. I've posted the picture on the screen for you all to see. The charity of the month this month is Young Lives vs Cancer. The charity helps children and young people and their families find the strength to face whatever cancer throws at them. I really think this is a great cause, so please go and check them out, there's a link to it in the description.